Hey, Jono here. Thanks for joining me for Rise of the Tomb Raider. It's now time to be doing the score attacks. I'm starting with the Baba Yaga DLC. Um, this one took me a few attempts because I couldn't remember how to do the puzzle. But, yeah, I um, ended up sort of not doing a live narration because of it, because of repeating the same sort of thing. Uh, that's why the beginning, if, if you look at the beginning, you can see the cards I'm using. What I did was I just looked at the leaderboards for someone with a high score. Um, and then you can actually see what cards they used. And if you like them, you can pay like 2,000 credits to use the same card. So I gave myself like a, something like a 300% bonus. So um, a lot of the little wisps or whatever these are. Um, yeah, this is when Lara refused to just go on the rope and go down it. Um, I didn't really need to get. And um, the trophy for the 150 cards did pop, as you can see here. But I don't know whether when buying the same cards as someone's using in the leaderboard, uh, whether it counts as purchasing them. But it's cheaper than just buying a random pack for like 5,000 and hoping to get some good disabilities. Because you can use cards that um, like enemies do more damage, which is great in this because there are no enemies. Or, you know, Lara takes more damage. So they give you like a good point increase without really affecting the gameplay. The ones I avoided was starting with no ammo. I didn't realize that um, you could actually pick up arrows. But um, yeah, I, I, I left that one and having to hold square to climb ledges because that just messed with the way I was playing. And uh, it's... You sort of... Mindset is to just go after every wisp at once but you actually kind of if you want to keep your combo going here yeah, where's La here's where Lara would just refuse to go down again um yeah see the combo nearly ran out if I'd picked that one up earlier I, I would have run out which I mean like I said I don't really need the target was 32,000 for the gold star um but see I've got like a 300% thing so even if my combo reset now I'd have over 60,000 just with the multiplier, I guess, the, the bonus percentage. And there's time as well. Better run. And even though I'm doing these score attacks to get a gold star or gold rating, um, I'm not really doing them as a here's how to do it. So I'll mention it through other videos. Some of them I did really sloppily in, but got the uh, the points. But usually, if you're trying to find out how to do it, you want to watch someone a little more skilled than I am. But yeah, that, that ends the challenge. So I had enough there anyway, with like, yeah, nearly 400%. And so all the trophies pop. Yeah. So 207,000 points. Didn't really need to worry about, um, you know. Wasn't exactly cutting it fine. But that's the Return to Vicky Vale one. Until next time, thanks for watching and take it easy.